the recommendation of the superintendent to appoint Natalie Turner as Intermediate Learning Center Assistant Principal. Annual salary is $76,104 according to the WRAA salary schedule, level one, effective August 1st, 2012. Sounds like your kids are quite as happy as you are. <laughs> Roll call. It's been. Trustee Stevens. Aye. Trustee Byers. Aye. Trustee Stewart. Aye. Trustee Bellows. Aye. I vote aye, Mr. President. Aye. Motion carries. Congratulations. Would you like to speak? Um, I'll just say thank you for the opportunity. I'm ready to work hard and continue to work hard. Thank you. Well, thank you. Welcome. Accept, acceptance of resignation. Uh, Mr. President, I move that the Willow Run Board of Education accept the resignation of Lisa Lewis, social worker, effective August 10th, 2012. Support. It has been moved and supported that the Willow Run Board of Education accept the resignation of Lisa Lewis, social worker, effective August 10th, 2012. Roll call. Trustee Stevens. Aye. Trustee Myers. Aye. Trustee Stewart. Aye. Trustee Meadows. Aye. I vote aye, Mr. President. Aye, motion carries. Acceptance of recall. Approval of recall, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. President, I move that the World Run Board of Education approve the recall of Camaria Dawkins, social worker, effective for the 2012-2013 school year. Support. It is been moved and supported that the World Run Board of Education approve the recall of Mario Dawkins, social worker, effective for 2012-2013 school year. Roll call. Trustee Mellows. Aye. Trustee Stewart. Aye. Trustee, uh, <coughs> Trustee Myers. Aye. Trustee Stevens. Aye. I vote aye. Mr. President. Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> we have the citizen green sheets tonight. <laughs> we have these. We have superintendent comments tonight. Sure. The only comment I would like to make is I know once again I'd like to just thank the task force for all of their hard work, their dedication, their diligence to making sure that our Eastern Washtenaw County students um, get the best educational opportunity that they deserve. And just want to make it clear, I know there's not um, many audience, you know, there's not a lot of audience participation, but um, I want to just make it clear that even though we're getting closer and closer to seeing if it's going to be put on the ballot, that this year is going to be just, we're going to be just as hard work and dedicated to the students that we have in the process that we're doing, that we've been doing to make sure that our students get what they deserve as far as education. Is. And we're just doing a two-track system where we're working on consolidation and we're working on making sure that we're moving forward with moving Willow Run up and out of into better things. The other board, I mean, excuse me, board comments. I have one comment. <clears throat> and you all know I don't support this consolidation. But I tell you what, I don't see how Willow Run's going to win in this at all. We're $2 million in the hole. They're 13. What does the Willow Run taxpayers have to eat that $13 million to? I have been to a number of meetings and talked to my neighbors. I can't find a single person that is supporting this. What is the hurry for us to consolidate with Ipsy. Two groups are going to benefit. First, Ipsy will benefit, then the ISD. Greg said something about a $10 million. What Scott's not telling them at the meeting, that doesn't go to pay our debts. That's for consolidation costs. Who's going to get that money? The ISD is going to get that money because they are facilitating this uh, consolidation. So that's, that's how I feel about it. My neighbors feeling the same way, so when it, if it does go to the vote, I, I, I don't know what it's going to, you know, how it's going to turn out. If Ipsy approves it, 10 years ago, Ipsy didn't want us. They didn't, they, our students were up to, their, up to their standards. Now that they're $13 million in a hole, they'll be happy to have us. Any other board comments? Anybody? Okay. I've been on the task force committee. And I've been in the Willow Run for all my life. The financial side of it that we're looking at, okay, that does play a piece. But what I would like for everybody to do, you can't sway nobody's opinion. You can't sway nobody's vote. 
But at the end of the day, you got to look at the educational system that is supported for the kids today. And if you are happy with the graduation rates, if you're happy with the way these kids are succeeding in this educational, I think what I would say, if we was to balance the budget tomorrow, would it fix the educational system? And then you would have to ask yourself these questions. What this is doing is giving us an opportunity to fix a problem that's been long overdue to be fixed. Um, I think what we need to do is set ourselves aside and look and see what's best for the children. Um, I think we really need to consider that. I, because if this passes, Ms. Lissitsky, like she, like Ms. Lissitsky, all of us, we, we may not even be in the school district. So what we're doing, we're setting aside our, we self-sacrificing ourselves for what's good for the best of the kids. Um, we've had plenty of community things for people to come out. The attendance has not been big. And so we, we try everything to do. And we just ask that you have an open mind and see what's best for the kids. That's all I ask anybody at the end of the day. Is this educational system, if we go back, if we don't pass this vote in, in, in November in 2013 and 14, imagine what your school district and your school will look like. And then ask yourself, is that fair for the kids? May I tap one thing out for yeah. that? The other thing to remember is that the state of Michigan is going to continue to underfund districts because it's in their target right now that everything consolidated down to county level districts. I've been to the meetings at the ISD. I've listened to our, our uh, representatives speak. And that really sounds like it's their goal. They haven't come right out and told us that. But as long as there's some districts out there with huge fund budgets and others with none, it, that part doesn't matter. All the state sees right now is they want to reduce the half a billion dollars worth of in their opinion, wasted administration expenses. And is that the right reason to consolidate? Definitely not. But as long as as long as the situation is as it is, the states are going to continue to target and target and target. In five years, I think you're going to see neighborhood districts like Will Run or even Ann Arbor are all simply going to be down at state a lot of money, they think. But the cost to that, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Sorry for going in after you instead of making fun of me, but please, we we'll all in this together. <laughs> but you're supposed to have last week. No, please. I'm not supporting nobody else. And also, one more word, <laughs> you know, because this, no, serious, you because, had these last words here. No, no, because people like um, Mr. Myers, uh, Ms. Lasiski, Ms. Thomas, um, they have put in tirelessly hours to, to make this possible. And some nights, I bet you they didn't go home and sleep good on this. Because these are decisions that will affect everybody in the city of Tulane. And so um, we have to look at this, what's best for the kids? If we don't do nothing, you, we think it's a joke. The financial managers and all these people they talk about, they will come in here. And you would not like the site that they're going to do. If you read your emails, read your emails. So I think what it is, we have to set aside Willow Run and Ipsy. It's no longer Willow Run and Ipsy, it's Ipsilani. It's the city of Ipsilani. Ain't no Willow Run district, ain't no Ipsilani district. We've been fighting with each other for way too long. And guess who's been the, at, the, at the bottom of it? Guess who suffered? The kids. Because we want to. Be proud of who we are and what we did, but at the end of the day, the kids suffer. So once again, I always say, let's do what's best for the kids. On that note, I have a question. Have we, as two districts, shown fiduciary responsibility to the public by putting ourselves in this position that we're in right now? Say it again. Have we, as two districts, in the position that we're in, shown ourselves to be, to be, um, the fiduciarians to put ourselves in this position that we're in right now. Have we shown ourselves to be good stewards over the money? Now, uh, so that's a whole different debate. That's a whole different debate, but what I can say about this, that board 
and this board 